Oshio, sister. Oshio. I wanted to say that's absolutely what your video is about. You, 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 you said it truthfully. You know, see, people don't, uh, they think if you just say something, it just makes it so. It don't make it so. I was, you know, listening, and, uh, and I remembered in the scripture here, and, and I want to read it. Uh, of course, I'm reading from the uh, New King James. But we, I see, where was that? Uh, let me let's see. Okay, verse, uh, chapter four, verse uh, thirteen. And since of <laughs> there I go, I'm like an old man, you know, and just run ahead of myself, you know, and I, I have to watch that. Uh, <laughs> okay, here we go again. Let's try it right. All right, it says uh, in Second Corinthians, chapter four, verse. 13 and since we have the same spirit of faith according to what is written written I believed and therefore I spoke we also believe and therefore speak what is believing that's faith that's trust Trust is faith. Faith is believing. And people don't understand that if you believe in something or someone, you will speak out. That's like if your best friend in the world, you believe in them, you trust in them or something. So you want to speak on their behalf, you know, because you trust in them, you know, and you your your mouth speaks what you believe in your heart about your friend. You know, or it might be a subject of a, a, a topic that you might trust in or believe in. So you speak because you're in your heart, you believe that. That's like when you believe in Yeshua, the Messiah, Hamashiach, uh, when you believe in him, it's from the heart. If you confess him from the heart, if I say Jesus is Lord, I'm saying, and if I believe that, I am saying he is my Lord. He is my, my King. He is my God. He is my he is my savior, you know what I mean? It's, he is my redeemer. This is what you believe from the heart. Not because somebody told you to, you know, that's just empty words. Anyone can get over and say the sinner's prayer, and that don't make you one saved in a lick of anything. You can say you're saved all you want, don't make it so. Because when you believe and confess from that believing out of your heart, Actions and fruits will that will like like a garden when you work at it, it will start producing that fruit When you receive his Holy Spirit You will and you start working and tilling that ground and, and everything you'll start By acting on God's Word and practicing You can produce the fruits of the Spirit with the Holy Spirit's help he will help you, and, and you'll have a garden producing good fruit. And uh, But people who sit there and who have this once saved, always saved idea, uh, uh, they get all mixed up in all that. Uh, these people who think just confessing. I could, I, you know, if you, if you sit there and watch these trials and stuff and, and, and these or interrogations and these Criminals can say anything. You know, anybody can say anything. But what is the evidence of your believing is your actions. And because someone can tell if you believe in something. And how I act and what I say and do and everything bears witness 
to whether I believe or I do not believe. Even the, the, the charlatans who get up there who preach money and all this kind of stuff for their own greed and savage, the hypocrites and stuff, their deeds prove that they do not really believe. The only thing that they believed in is money. That's where their hearts is. What was it the Lord said? Where your heart is, there where your treasure, or where your, you know, that's where your treasure is. You know, and where is our treasure we're supposed to be for, for those who believe? In heaven. But a lot of us have been setting our, our treasure here below. And that treasure can consist of money, uh, friends, so-called. Uh, you know, uh, what you can obtain, how much stuff you can get. That's where their heart is. And a lot of them will say that I'm a Christian, but their faith and trust is in that stuff. So therefore, they could not really, really have known the true salvation as in the Bible because if they really believe, if they really, 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 really believe, they will what bear witness to that truth you know it's like i can say i believe that apples are good and if i grab an apple and just sit there and show you that i believe it is good and i bite into it and then i start making this sour looking face you know and go yeah you know then you begin to think well you don't really like that apple do you so you say what's the matter there's the uh, apple rotten you go, no no it's taste horrible I, I, you know that's the way people are and here I am spitting I'm sorry <laughs> but uh, you know that's how us old folks are I, I tease a lot about it I'm, but I just want to say yes a lot of people do not understand that just because you confess your salvation does not mean you're saved. It has to be by believing. And and see, along with that confession, there's the believing in the actions, the things that bear witness that this is true. It's like any of you, any single one of you, who goes and walks on a reservation, huh? and you want to try to sit there and deliver God's word, and this goes overseas to any... Any of those peoples over in the third world country? I want to tell you a little secret. Those people are watching you, all right? And they see everything you do. And even around, even if you're not in a reservation, even. It can be in a neighborhood or whatever, or a bunch of street gang thugs or whoever. It doesn't matter. People are watching you. And you're going around, and you're talking about Jesus, and you're talking about your salvation and everything See, because they've heard and seen this too. But what they have seen was people mouthing, but there was nothing to back it up. So, you have to think about this, people. Consider yourself, I mean, judge yourself. And test yourself to see whether you have His Spirit as according to the Bible. So, I urge you to examine yourselves you know, we all need to do this because we can fall short. I'm not saying that a person who's saved can't mess up. Oh, they can. You know, but you can get it right. But the thing is, when you're trying to uh, confess that just saying, I'm saved, gets it done, it don't work that way. It has to come from faith. And read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. And then, well, actually work all the way down and read what faith really is. So until then, let me say, Shalom, walk in His love, walk in His light, and be good to one another. Aho. Uh -huh.